When the fat controller was a young man, he used to help out at the railway. He cleaned the engines, fixed them at the works, drove them around the railway, and stoking their fireboxes. Now he's controller on the railway for years and is very proud of his railway and engines. But one night, there was a problem. Pip and Emma had failed and are now taken to the works. So the fat controller needed an engine to take over the Midnight Express. James was returning for delivering a goods train. He saw the fat controller. What's the matter, sir? asked James. The fat controller explained about the problem and then said, For you here, you're the only one available. Can you pull the express? James beamed proudly. Yes, sir! Diesel shunted his coaches into the platform. and James was soon coupled up to them. The passengers were all on board and just as they were about to leave there was another problem. I don't feel well, wheezed the fireman. Better get a relief fireman driver, ordered the fat controller. So they did. They waited and waited but the relief fireman didn't come. The passengers were getting impatient. We're ten minutes late, one of them complained. This gave the fat controller an idea. I'll be the fireman, he said. James was delighted and honoured. I haven't stroked an engine's firebox since my late father had only five years left as controller. At last the express left, although quite late, so James had to make up for lost time. The fat controller got the shovel and was putting all of the coal into James's firebox. Dust and soot flew everywhere. They reached Wellsworth Station. This is going to be very challenging for the fat controller. There'll be no assistance here tonight, so we have to put extra power into James. Right, said the fat controller, though he felt very tired. The heavy coaches were dragging James. I can do it, I can do it, he puffed. The fat controller was shoveling every ounce of coal as James was barking up the hill. This is warm work, said the fat controller to himself. At last they reached the top. It was all downhill from here. They arrived at Baron Furness, tired but triumph. After that, the fat controller rested, awaiting for the return trip. I'm not the man I used to be, he sighed. Nonsense, sir. 
You were very determined on getting the express here on time, and we did, said the driver. Maybe you should be farming instead of controller, sir, quipped the inspector, and they all laughed. It was all downhill on the return trip, so the fat controller was happy to have a break. James couldn't wait to tell the other engines about having the fat controller as his relief fireman. But on the fat controller's side, he may be pleased with his work, but he may stick to his duty as controller.